Footage from Ukrainian military officials purports to show a Russian radar station in Ukraine being destroyed in a series of artillery strikes. The footage is obtained from the National Guard of Ukraine, the Ukrainian National Gendarmerie and Internal Military Force on Wednesday. The National Guard said the National Guard destroyed an electronic warfare point of the Russian occupiers in Kharkiv Oblast. National Guard artillerymen struck at the equipment of the enemy's radar station. Ukrainian defenders detected the electronic warfare point and adjusted their fire on it with the help of drones. They destroyed the enemy's electronic warfare point, thus they deprived them of the opportunity to intercept our forces, to jam the signal of our radio stations, said the commander of the unit. The occupiers use electronic warfare systems as a powerful asymmetric tool of war, which allows them to be a cool on the battlefield. Without effective communication, no modern army can fight. Every year Russia spends half a billion dollars on such systems. Each of their teams has an electronic warfare company. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24 in what the Kremlin is still calling a special military operation to liberate the Donbas. June 16 marks the 113th day of the invasion. In related news, French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Arab Scholz, and Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi arrived in Kyiv on Thursday for talks. They are reportedly hoping to rebut what has been perceived as their lukewarm support for Ukraine. Meanwhile, Washington has told China it risks ending up on the wrong side of history following Chinese President Xi Jinping's assurances to Russian President Vladimir Putin that Beijing supports Russian sovereignty. Thousands of civilians remain trapped in the K eastern Ukrainian city of Severodonetsk, where the water supply is reported to be dwindling. Hundreds of civilians are taking shelter in the bunkers beneath the city's Azov chemical plant. Luhansk Oblast Governor Sarir Haidai said earlier this week that all three bridges into Severodonetsk had been destroyed, making delivering supplies and evacuating civilians impossible.